Hey, good morning, Todd. Good morning, Matthew. How are you doing today? Good, man. What's up, brother? How are you? Doing well. How are you guys? Happy New Year. Good. Happy New Year. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'm just going to wait a little bit to see if everyone jumps on. You down in, are you down in Florida as well, Connor? Yes, sir. Yeah. What about you? I'm in Virginia, man. I was supposed to be in Miami this week, but we got canceled. Oh, man. We could have met up and done something together. I know. I was going to pop in and say what's up to you guys, but uh, next time. Yeah, next time, next time. How have you been with the um, with the campaigns? I just joined. I just joined in October, like the end of October. So I was kind of at the tail end of Medicare, just enough to kind of see a little momentum, and then um, kind of switched over to auto and final expense and back in Medicare yesterday. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Sounds good. Sounds good. So today, I think. Um, what we're going to do is I want to go over Medicare today because Medicare started yesterday. Yep. So I, I've just been focusing on a lot of other things. I'm going to go over my website. I'm going to go over my ads and my uh, Facebook page and uh, help you guys direct that. And then maybe we'll launch some campaigns today. I'll help you guys build yours as well. Sweet. All right. Let's wait for everybody. Hey, Aaron. Nice to see you. Uh, hey, Matt. What's going on? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Conrad. Good morning, guys. Happy to have you here this morning. I'm happy you guys joined. All right, we got a we got a party. We got a party brewing. A Zoom party. Hey, Dan. Thanks for joining. Good morning. Hey, Conrad. Hey, Aaron. Good morning. Good morning. So I was telling Todd that uh, I'd like to focus on Medicare this morning because the campaigns did start yesterday. I've been oh, okay. Focused. I've been focused on everything else, and I uh, if Medicare kind of flew over my head. I met with Carlos yesterday. He says you better get that get those campaigns on, boy. So we're gonna we're gonna go over all of our Medicare ads today. We're gonna go over the website, and we're gonna go over our Facebook pages. We're gonna make that. So, happen. Conrad, um, as far as the Medicare, are you doing uh, the Spanish one as well, or just regular? Um, I'm, I'm doing just regular. I'm probably going to build some Spanish ads as well. But my account was already built from a few months ago. So for me, it's just turning on campaigns and then uh, measuring. Yeah. I have to start over since my account's in jail. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. It's OK. I just uh, advice for everybody. If you ever get a, re a thing that says you have to fix something and then it says click to audit for review, if you wait more than 30 days, the you, Facebook will never talk to you again. Yeah, you got to handle that right away. Yeah, so that's the that's when I was in the hospital. So oh well, it's I'm all good. That. Are you feeling all better? I'm happy to see you home. Yeah, I was. I'm yeah. I've been back for about three weeks, so I'm good. Okay. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Okay, all right, we got people emailing me to jump in. Give me one second, guys. Leroy. Okay. Have you guys built your credit repair site at all? Hmm. No, not yet. Not yeah, yet. we're just we're just about done. Jenna just has to put the finishing touches on it. Okay, perfect. How are those templates for you? Good. They were good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Don't forget to change your uh, your TCPA statement in the form. Make sure you have your gravity form on there so you can capture data and make sure that you update your- Yeah, yeah. Statement, okay? yep. yep, she's following the video. She followed the video step-by-step. Step. Perfect, perfect. Do you need Do you need the uh, gravity form elite code? Yes. Okay. It's 249, I have it for 129. I'll send it to you, okay? You can just shoot me a Zella or one more or whatever. Okay, cool. It's, uh, yeah. it's for, it's for the, the elite, so you have everything unlocked. Um, right away, okay. Yeah, just send me the info and then just send me your uh, send me your Venmo. I have funds sitting in there that I can just shoot over to you whenever you send it. No problem. All right, thanks. Is work. that that's what you went over on Tuesday, Conrad? Yeah, we're we're so so. Uh, my, uh, the biggest thing I learned when I ran Medicare, right? Medicare was by no means perfect. It was my first time ever using Facebook. Um, and I learned a lot after running that campaign. The, the first thing I, I learned was one, 
even if forms are a little bit more expensive to generate, you actually capture and you can keep the data compared to a call where they call in and you can't really remarket to that lead again because they haven't seen your TCPA disclosure. Yeah. Which is part of the, the can span act. So you really want to respect that when you want to retext and recall and re email your leads. So what happens is um, we ended up spending like $120,000 on Medicare for all of those different leads. And the demographic is the same demographic as people who are looking for final expense. So now I have to go and spend money again for final expense when I could have just remarketed to them in my Medicare, in my Medicare campaign. But it's okay. Yeah. Less so, than a That's a great point. <clears throat> hey, what's going on, AJ? What's up, Conrad? Hey, man, listen, I'm trying to get this 2000 up, bro. I only have $1,000. Can y'all work with me to get started with that? Yeah, that's fine. Let, let me give Carlos a call and then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do it together. I, I think it should be okay as long as you commit to the 100. Yeah, I can commit to 100. Um, I'm just I'm just saying, like, can I get some more time? I can pay a thousand right now, like, in, you know, in good faith. And if y'all can give me. going to go over some ad building and we're going to go over uh just some website stuff let me pull the slack up man i'll be missing some i'll be missing stuff sometimes bro I'll be, no i'm problem. trying to make pull it. up pull up slack uh, and just search for my name and you'll see the link in there for, for the call right now okay jump to conrad all right i see all right no problem I'll this see is on the very the beginning i'll see I don't, you on, oh, i'll see you on the zoom all call right. all right all right thank you all right, no problem. <laughs> hey david good morning good morning amazing amazing day we're blessed so let's run it today guys forgive me for being late a little behind no no problem. good morning everyone good morning everyone all right let's see if we can get aj on this call and send him a message uh if you don't mind aaron are you clear are you good now um, so yeah, David, my, um, my Facebook account, I was saying earlier, it's completely gone. Facebook will not unlock anything. So I have to start in the beginning. So, so Aaron, don't, don't rely on just one source of advertising, right? I, I, I like, Oh no, 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 I, no, I do. Yeah. I have other, I'm doing, um, I'm doing Bing. I'm doing Yahoo. Yeah, absolutely. Doing, absolutely. And Google. Yeah, of course. No, but I definitely not stopping, um, yeah, don't don't let any kind of don't let any kind of obstacles or hurdles stop you. Like I, I'll drive around the city. I live in Miami, and I'll and I'll hear like on the radio, people are posting their Medicare ads on the radio, credit repair ads oh, on yeah. the radio. Yep. You get me? They're going to local dealerships and giving them their website. Hey, if I get a sign up here, we'll split the commission. You get me? So th th yep. there's a lot oh, of totally. Same thing for yeah, auto I have all those. For auto those accounts are up and running and working. Um, okay, amazing. But I'm not putting Medicare on Google. I don't think we can. You can, but you need an insurance license. I'm working on that right now. Right, but um, you need an insurance license that covers every state. Yes. yes, you yes. do. Or you could just run Medicare ads to just Florida, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course, but- um, Or, yeah. suggestion, or yeah. you can find someone who does have a Medicare license, partner with them, um, um, and have them generate Google leads for you yep. and y'all can just give them a percentage of whatever you're making uh, or something like that. You know, they, you they just, just got to, yeah. Well, 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 what we're doing, I'm not sure of all of the technicalities inside of Google, 
But me personally, if I had a, if I had a real estate license, what I would be telling, cause I'm not handling any of the leads myself anyways. Right. And our buyer is a nationwide buyer. So what you tell Google is, Hey, I'm generating leads uh, nationwide, but the cost is a lot cheaper. I'm taking the leads from Florida and I'm funneling the leads from the rest of the United States somewhere else, even though you're sending everything to the, to the lead buyer. What right. we just want is access and your, your license yeah. will give you access to that campaign. I'm actually renting. Um, I'm working with somebody and I'm renting his ad account right now for Facebook. Once I get amazing. these sites up. Amazing. Amazing. Nice. All right, guys. So let's jump in. Let's get started. I want to go over my, uh, is, is Leroy in here? Yes, sir. Hey, Leroy. Good morning. Good morning. So first thing we're going to do, guys, I'm going to share my screen. Let me click the record. Oh, it is recording, guys. So first thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you my. Uh... Okay. So let me just close this. Okay, so first thing I want to show you guys is um, my Medicare website. So guys, I, I ended up building this website for Medicare. This is just for compliance reasons with, uh, with Facebook. I have a landing page here as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the landing page. Like I said, I really want to. I'm going to test two different ad variations, but I do already have my ads set up in Facebook. So is this the same Medicare site that we built with you in October? Yep. Okay. Okay. Some more tools. That's manager. That's the wrong button. Okay. Perfect. How did you guys like the last call? Was it okay? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys enjoy learning about websites? Yeah, it was great. Okay, amazing, amazing. Happy to hear that, guys. I'd like to do more of that with you guys just so that you guys can get the hang of building websites and figuring all that stuff out. That's really, that's that, that's fun for me, just building new businesses and seeing how they perform. Um, Medicare, uh, not Medicare, credit repair with Carlos is currently paused. The buyer that they had is, um, for some reason, I'm talking to them on the back end so I could sell them some leads, but the best thing to do would be to generate your own leads and then find a buyer uh, on the marketplace for those leads, okay? Okay. So guys, this is our credit repair website. This is what it looks like. And if you guys don't have the time to build a website, you can just let me know and we'll work out some kind of deal and I can build this for you as well, guys. This is like my specialty here. It takes you maybe 24 hours and you get your own custom website, okay? So first thing we want to do, um, who already has their uh, their ad account for Medicare? Who, who is eligible to even run Medicare ads right now? I am. Okay, amazing. So what I'll do, I'm, we're recording this video and I will post it inside of our group so that you can copy these ads when you take a look at them. Um, you will have to do your own creatives. Like we, we've shown how to do that. Just go to the Facebook ad library, grab your creatives. What's most important here is the text that you're going to use. 
So I haven't changed anything at all since we've started, okay? All I've done is added a couple more videos into here. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Um, right here, this is some of the text that I use. I'm just uh, scrolling over these so you guys can see them when you watch the video. Medicare plans can be confusing. Bring your questions our way. We are ready to help. Ask about how you can save with the new OTC benefits card. And then this is a video. It's a long video, like 15 minutes explaining all of the original Medicare benefits and what you can get if you get additional benefits from private insurance, which is what we're selling, guys. We're not selling a core Medicare plan. The qualifications to get this Medicare ad that we're running for a client, they do need to have Medicare Parts A or Part B or any kind of Medicare. What we're selling is a private benefits addition to Medicare. Some people find that the benefits that, that uh, regular Medicare provides isn't enough, or maybe they're not in the income class that gives them full benefits. So they jump into an additional plan that just tops off the remainder of the benefits that they need. Maybe it could be dental, it could be vision, it could be RX, and it could even go as far as the uh, over-the-counter benefits card that they can spend on their groceries, they can spend on their uh, prescriptions, whatever it might be. Okay, so this is one ad copy here that I use. Phone number right there. It's a supplement or an event, Medicare Advantage or Medicare supplement. Exactly. We're selling a supplement provided by private insurance. That was a really good way to put it, Leroy. Thank you. Yeah. Advantage is from the federal government. A supplement is from private insurance. Perfect. Same thing, but just different way. Supplements better. Perfect, perfect. So, guys, th this is the uh, this is my core ad. This is the ad that's worked for me the very best um, for any kind of Medicare that I've been running. So, it would be right here. Yesterday, I was selling the new twenty eight eighty flex card. These funds may help cover excess monthly expenses. And then you make sure you have your uh, disclaimer here just to stay safe and legal. Technically, I'm supposed to remove the 2880, but I don't want to get, cause any problems in my account. I'll just skip that account, uh, skip this ad. So what you want to say is U.S. residents are celebrating the new OTC Flex card. These funds may help cover monthly expenses. And then your disclaimer should be, should be displayed right here at the bottom, okay? I'm just going to run through and show you guys a few different ad copies that I've had. You see like this, this is with the OTC Flex card. Guys, this is not difficult. The video is this is the best benefit I've seen in years. Right now, I'm getting $2,880 in free power spending for the 2021-2022 term that I can use for the rest of my life. The Medicare Cash Card has partnered up with the United States government to bring this free program to seniors across America who simply need help. I've been on Social Security for years, and it's never been enough. But ever since I got my Medicare cash card, I've been able to afford the things I need and not. This is just one of the ads, guys. So if you ran Medicare a couple months ago, you're already familiar with these. I just want to open the eyes of the people that have not yet uh, run Medicare, just so you can get a gist of what's going on here. You know, you can still, me personally, if you look at my account, I was at like a $12,000 a day budget. What I did, I just divided all of my accounts by 5,000. That's my account limit on Facebook. And, um, and now I just have like $27 per campaign, right? And every campaign has that same amount. Um, my goal is to slowly start turning these on as the campaigns optimize so that we can start generating some revenue this month. It would be really exciting to do that. Okay. While I'm here, do you guys have any questions at all? I'm here to answer your questions. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen these campaigns before. I'm sure you guys have some ads running. I want to be able to clear up as many different things as you have, any kind of hurdles you have in your mind. That's what I'm here to help you guys do today. So please, guys, ask, ask me questions. If not, it's going to be a 15-minute call, and we'll be running out of topics. Yeah, can, can you just touch on, Conrad, since you just mentioned it, the Facebook, um, the 5,000 that you have? So is, does Facebook gate, I guess Facebook kind of gates you from climbing too fast and-, and Yeah, climbing. so right. the, the issue is I was running, so Medicare was my very first Facebook ad. So I, I started this account 
and I just started spending on it. And then I hit a cap of $5,000 a day, which is a lot of money, obviously. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's like a superficial cap. It's like, like for three or six months, they want you to spend that. And then what Facebook will do is they'll either unlock your account or they'll give you a Facebook net 30 ad account where you can spend whatever you want and pay at the end of 30 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is also um, amazing. But before yeah. you do that, you obviously have to verify your business with Facebook. You have to verify absolutely everything with Facebook to make that happen. So, I mean, so where, do, where, where, would, I, where would I find what my cap is right now? Like, I don't want to, obviously. <laughs> the only way to find your cap is to spend, bro. And yeah. your cap is going to be, you know, like that, that's why I like to start my account. So if you, if you take a look at these accounts, every new ad account has a cap. It's like $5 a day or $10 a day. So what I like to do with all of my new accounts is I have, it's, it serves two purposes. I have the engagement like campaign, right? So if you, if you pay attention to this, what's going to happen is you're going to see your credit card start getting charged. It's going to be $5 a day. And then it's going to charge you $10 for two days, then $15 for three days, then $25 for five days. That's your account limit going up slowly. Right. So whenever I create a new website, I always just put five dollars behind it and I just let it run like my health insurance. This has been running for a couple of days, um, probably spent yeah, fifteen dollars. Right. So what it does is it charges my account every time I hit my new limit. So my when I first started this, my account was five dollars. Does that make sense? It charges me yeah. five bucks. And then it charges me 10 bucks, right? It's going to charge me in a couple hours after this spends $15, right? That it's, that's what it's going to do. And then you build your first ad, like I did for credit repair. Where is it? Like right here. I started originally with the engagement campaign, right? 50 cents a like, and I've been 210 likes, spent $115. That was at $5 a day. So this has been running since December 13th, right? And then I started my first campaign at $25 a day. I let that run for two days. My account limit was like 50 bucks. Now my account limit is almost $200 a day on Facebook, right? You can do damage with $6,000 a month. For sure. Okay. Yeah. So that I, so it's, it's the same. So there's like a charge cap, right? Where it's like, Hey, this exactly, is exactly. the card at this point, Exactly. But then there's a daily cap as far as that daily cap is just something I'm going to have to figure out. Yeah, the, the, the daily cap is linked to your credit card. What Facebook is doing is they want to verify that your credit card is valid and is running. And it's not just going to uh, let you run, you know, they, they want you to walk before you run. And that's like you sure. spend $5,000 and oh shit, your card got declined. You get me? They're going to they're gonna build that limit up for you. And then, okay, this guy's this guy is obviously running it, so we'll let him run it. And do you need to request access, or is it something that hey, once you get enough activity, Facebook reaches out and says, do you, do you want to take advantage of the net thirty? Yeah, program? they're just going to reach out to you, and you're going to see a notification inside of your business manager. I think it's like in here inside of business settings, and you're just going to get a notification like somewhere under your ad accounts or something. Okay. It's going to say, would you like to talk to a representative about your net 30 account? Or if you go what, what I found, it's frustrating, but I noticed that like Amex, every time there's a cap raise and that, that new cap is, is hit, Amex is throwing out kind of a fraud, you know, protection. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's just security. You know, it's just security for you and it's security for someone else. You know, it, it, how upset would you be if you were not running Facebook ads? Oh, for sure. And instead of seeing a, a, a cost of oh, Facebook, five bucks, you see Facebook, $3,000. Oh shit. What the hell's going on here? You know? Yeah. That's the reason for, for all that, all that protection. And it's weird because I have all these different ad accounts uh, under my account and they're all spending money, but I still get limited for one of the accounts, you know, or two of the accounts, all the new ones still get limited, which is weird. But what it's I've been talking to Facebook difference. about- It's a big difference running in, a, in an account that's warmed up and ready. I mean, that Medicare account. Exactly. You know. Exactly. I, I hit pretty hard with that Medicare account. So guys, I, 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 I want to really help you guys figure this out, right? What are your hurdles right now for Medicare? What's holding you back from running Medicare? I want you guys to tell me right now, so I can clear up any kind of misconceptions for you and show you the way, you know, like I said, guys, I tell everyone this, 
I'm no genius. I'm 27 years old. I live in the one bedroom apartment. You get me? I'm by no means as rich as Carlos or as Phil. I just put the work in and I make it happen. I learn quickly and I adapt very quickly. And I just have a thing with computers that allows me to learn, you know, whatever it is. I've been doing this for about a year and a half. So I've built multiple websites. I've run multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in campaigns, but I'm still by no means any kind of marketing expert or genius. I can just help guide you in the right direction. You're running your own business at the end of the day, and you want to be able to learn what makes your business succeed. And that's been my motivation since the very beginning, right? I didn't understand anything I was doing when I started. I just put my head down and I made as many mistakes as I could and I figured out the right way to do it, okay? So if you guys need any help at all, ask your questions right now because, you know, it's, I don't really have anything else to show unless you guys ask for it. <laughs> so look, on the Medicare, on the Medicare. Yes, sir. Now we're in the um, special enrollment period. So yes. we're opening back up uh, for about three months. And... Uh, I haven't been running Medicare since the end of the last program. So okay. we go back in our um, business manager and just turn everything back on. Yeah, pretty much. Not, not everything, but you know, you turn the campaigns that you had back on. Yes. Like yes, me, yes. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing here, I'm looking at all of my campaigns and yes. I'm going to sort it by cost per result, right? Because these were yes. the best performing campaigns that I had in my account at the time. Does that make yes. sense? Like these campaigns yes. here, what I'll do is I will turn these campaigns on maybe two or three and I'll just let those run for a couple of days. Okay. Right. I'll let those run for a couple of days. Um, and then I'll just start turning the other ones on. So I want to see how it performs first. Cause what if I turn these old campaigns on and my cost per call is $50 and I'm going to be very upset. You know, right. it tells me that one, I have to rebuild all new ads, which I don't really want to do. That's why I, <laughs> which I honestly don't want to do, but I do have to make some updates here anyways, because if you can see here, the one issue I had in my account was audience overlap. I was blasting the same video over and over and over again. Awesome. I just got something from Todd. Todd, can you elaborate on this for me? What is this for? Yeah, this is something that um, Conrad and Joe passed out kind of over the break. This is just the Medicare compliance requirements that uh, that um, that would probably be beneficial to run through, and look over, you know, as we as we're operating at different enrollment periods, different parts of the year, different campaigns may have different um, uh items that need to be addressed in ad copy, et cetera. I think the biggest thing I saw in here, Conrad, was just not, not saying anything like new, not to give the impression that anything, you know, plans are new or there's new features or anything like that. I think that was one of the, that was one of the, the points of feedback underneath the. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, SEP. That's, yeah, that's we're, we're in SEP now. Okay, we're thanks. an SEP now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I, I appreciate that, Todd. Not, not that anybody wants to get super bogged down in it, but it, I, it probably... No, 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 no. This is very important because what happens is you run a campaign and then you get shut off because you're not in compliance. You know, you really want to make sure you guys are in compliance. Well, I did um, do research, Conrad. So, you know, Aaron... No, though. So uh, one of my clients, they do sell Medicare and they make a ton of money doing it. So I went over my ad copies and ad campaigns and even some new ones that I'm going to do. And I had them confirm whether they're true or not and okay. what period I can use them in. If it was only used for October through December and can they be used through January and March? And I did receive confirmation that I can. Right. Okay, for, so, you know, that's uh, what Clinton told me as well. He said I can use the same creatives that yeah. I was using before. The problem for me is not using the same creatives. The problem is whether or not it's going to perform the same. That's what I've been uh, concerned about. True, that part. Well, you know day one is going to be terrible. 
So we already know that because they've been off for Yeah, day one is usually – I mean, I, I was profitable after the, like, third day of Medicare. So I'm not scared about the first couple of days. You know, I just want to be able to actually run it. So what I'm going to do here is – Well, I say day one is going to be terrible because they've, or they've been off for a while. Yeah. Day one for brand new, different, you know, because I was profitable one. So because they've been off, you might see a, you might see a fifty dollar uh, uh, CPR. Yeah, you might you might see some you might see some some uh, some cost increases there, but I think you guys should be okay. I think you guys should be okay personally. You see here, there are people that are running a twenty eight eighty. I don't want to run that, but I do want to find like I've been I've been taking the Facebook course, like these ads when it incentivizes you to click on an image they say it's def uh, deceptive marketing facebook doesn't like that facebook does not like that one bit and you will get your account suspended or at a minimum your ad rejected even if it slides like this this ad is active started today started yesterday on january 5th this ad is not up to facebook compliance you should not be able to click on the picture that you get me this incentivizes you to go to their website in an unnatural way and this is this is one of carlos's students <laughs> could be carlos too Which, yeah, but these images are, are not supposed to be up like this advantage info which, update this is a good website so i'm going to take their spanish text which i'm glad you said that uh conrad because you know the videos that we use um if you notice they in some of those they have the um we can talk about that later no 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 say say it here like the what do the videos have some of them have you know they're kind of aggressive kind of like gray market area well know? i just don't want to get my account suspended that that was it, my my main exactly thing, you know? Ex exactly well i just i've already generated 300 page likes in like a couple of days for Amazing. for that uh that page right so and it only cost me like 32 cents per like so freaking perfect that's amazing and, that, that's for medicare yeah yeah amazing so but those video copies you notice some of them have that take the survey but we're not offering a survey and yeah. it's like click here to take the survey or look on the web so i was nervous about that if you know i don't want i don't want to get suspended neither it seems like a, a bit of yeah, a bit. i don't i don't, I, personally don't want to get, I don't want to get suspended either man i'm telling you right now i'm just gonna go over and look at my uh my account quality for this specific page i want to make sure everything is okay before i start running my ads just to verify everything Guys, what I'm doing now is I'm just going into my my uh, the Facebook page I used to advertise. What I'm going to do is I I'm going to go through all the ads and stuff and make sure that <laughs> like this stuff. I'm going to start cleaning up some posts. So I do have a I do have a buffer here. This, I'm trying to delete these. Um, I don't, I don't know. These are just like kind of hackers trying to get in on your, on your, uh, on your spend.
it's like this, this is the kind of stuff that once they start to build up these negative reactions, this is what can potentially suspend your account. So I like to go in here and just clean up these comments just to make sure. So are you, do you structure, are you structuring your back end like kind of Clayton and Joe and everybody have, have been teaching? So one page, one ad account campaign, one ad set, one, one, one ad. Um, it really, it really depends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just, I just, uh, I just verify. but it's, it's off right now. It's off right now. It'll be on, it'll be on probably by tomorrow. Okay, we send it to. So guys, my ads are live, so we're just gonna see how this works. It's 9512-937-7985. I think that's the number. I don't know this number that yet. Can, can you write that one down? That's the one in the section, please. Um, what I'm doing here, guys, I'm just verifying that everything I I did is just still in place. All of my uh, conversion settings are still up, just to make sure that I don't cross like dot my eyes and cross my T's. I just got a text from you. Okay. You said reply yes, okay. Yes, sir. I think what I'll do is I'm going to run Medicare Spanish on a different account. I did. This one here. So guys, while I'm here, do you guys have any questions at all? Thank you. I just wanted to make sure everything. Yeah, I got a question for you, Conrad. Sure. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you build creative? I know Carlos talks about the Facebook ad library, but um, there's other people using like ad spyware type of stuff. And how do you personally go about finding, you know, creative that works for you and, and that you can scale? So you either have two options. You can either create them yourself on Canva, That's just, I've, I've done some creations on Canva, like this year, I made these myself for Medicare, right? And it has my website in there. Once you put your website URL, nobody will steal your ad because it's gonna send them to a website that is not theirs, right? So you wanna put your website here or something to deter someone from creating, like what I did here, right? This is one of Carlo, like I, I can already tell because when I'm in the ad library, I clicked on this ad. It took me to one of Carlos's landing pages. I know the landing page because I have it on my website, <laughs> right? So th this is what happens when you don't put your website in your ad. Someone just slides right in, they copy your ad and they use it for their own text. But I'm one day behind. So he's already getting results for this and I'm not doing anything at all yet. You get me? Yeah, so that kind of saves you from people stealing your stuff so that you don't get like ad fatigue well, or whatever. That, that's when you, that's when you, ad fatigue happens when you spend money. It doesn't happen when people take your ad. It's like a per account thing. Because Facebook can't really differentiate between one video and another video. But what they can differentiate is whether you have the same video in all your ads, right? So if you have the same video in all your ads and you're spending all this money, it's going to cause what's called audience overlap. When one campaign is bidding against the same person in another campaign and your cost per call starts to go up. That's why they wanna have a bunch of different uh, different ads and different images. So I have these here that I created myself. They're just flashy and nice. And um, you know it does generate results. It's a little more expensive because it's not as flashy as a bunch of hundred dollar bills or some old guy showing you his card or someone shopping with their card. But in, in reality, this is maybe the most compliant uh, Medicare ad that you can run. 
Okay, it's simple. It tells you exactly what it is. So that's kind of how I was running it on my other accounts. If you see here, I have I have those there. I wanted to build an, an ad right now, actually, just to give it a try for Spanish. One second. One second. My dad is calling. All right, guys, so I'm just, just going to go through here and build another ad for the Medicare. Um, I'm a little rusty, forgive me. So sometimes I uh, I make my ad um, with one ad set. Sometimes I make it with two ad sets, three ad sets, multiple ads. Sometimes one ad set, four ads. I just test a bunch of different things, guys, and I and I find out what sticks. And whatever sticks, I duplicate it. Okay. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So when you duplicate. Are you, so, uh, you know, right now I'm still kind of grabbing a new number for every even duplicated ad, which, which, which obviously updates the, the creatives and yeah. therefore doesn't bring over the activity, the comments or anything. So if you, if it's not a straight up duplicate duplication with no changes to creative, you're going to lose all those engagements and you can't really do yeah, it. I mean, once you have your pixel seasoned, it shouldn't be a problem creating new creatives, right? So the, the most difficult part of this is getting to like a hundred conversions in Rainbow. Because that, that's what it, that's the amount it takes for Facebook to know exactly what you want and what you're targeting. That's the most difficult side. Once you're gotcha. Yeah, well, I, I haven't done that yet. All I'm doing, all I've done is your side. You can't do that with call ads though, right? Is there, there's, is there a way to, there's no way to, to. to yeah, connect. absolutely. Absolutely. You can. Oh, okay. So you can, so you can connect Facebook call ads with Ringba to fire off. Yeah. That, that's what I have here. These platform integrations, you want to make sure you go into, you click integrations, you click platforms, and then you click add platform integration. It's going to prompt you to log into your Facebook. And then you're going to choose your ad account and you're going to create a connection. Make sure you name with the ad account that you're running ads for. And what happens is 
it's going to create an offline conversion set like this. So just integrating will create that? Yeah, and then and that's where it it uh like I'll show you here. Or is it events? Let's go to events manager. And it'll show you all of your different uh, conversions that you have. So like here, right? 30, 30 events. Some of them got one of my accounts got suspended, so I need to be extra careful, but like this one's got 11 events. This is the last 30 days, so. Got it, all right. I, I, can't, I didn't realize you could do that with people that far back. But um, it records inside of the offline event set and it helps your ads optimize. That's very important. And you wanna make sure you do it for every kind of call ad that you're doing. You can also do this with Google. Yeah, that would make a huge difference. Like, you know, I. Like I was driving stupid low calls for an auto campaign a couple of weeks ago. And there was very little, if, if any conversion. Yeah. So, so what you want to do is you want to, you want to create the integration here. Once you connect your Facebook ad account to, to Ringba, then you go to campaigns and you choose whichever campaign that you're running, right? Like auto insurance or biohazard credit repair. Right. In my case, it's Medicare. And then I connect it to Medicare. Right. Even though I'm getting paid uh, $36 for a 90 second conversion. Right. I set my upload delay to five minutes. So Ringba only sends the conversion data to Google to, to Facebook if the call is over five minutes. So what happens is you're getting higher and higher quality calls as time goes on. But again, the only way to do this is to actually run the ad and get it um, converted. Even if it's like a 90 second conversion, it's going to convert a little bit. And you just want to make sure that you run that so that it seasons your pixel. Got it. Okay. Conrad, can you just, um, can you just please uh, create or probably you don't really have to create in this case, but can you just pull up an app uh, copy that uh, for the for the ones that sends people to the website? Sure, I'll build one right now with you guys. I only have call ads, so I'll, I'll build a website out for you guys right now, and we'll see how that works. This is what you're creating for the to the website? No, this is just a regular call ad for Spanish. So that's one ad here. Is my domain verified? Do I need to find out?
right? This is my landing page for Medicare. Right? I want them to answer these little questions. So I'll show you how, how the flow works. Are you, are you um, for Medicare, Conrad, are, are you real time selling leads to third parties as well? Or are you just driving for calls right now? I'm just driving through calls right now. Yeah, okay. What I'm doing here, guys, I'm just making sure that my website is running how I want it to, and it's not there just yet. My form is not going to my thank you page, so I'm going to make sure that happens now. Okay. So now I'm going to verify my thank you page is up to date. in Spanish. So what I'm doing now, guys, I'm just updating my uh, thank you page. So when I send traffic here, I can track the number as 2645. That's the only number on my thank you page. That's what I'm doing right now, okay? now is make sure you guys have your events set up okay events manager go to your pixel medicare source
Conrad, are you kicking off the uh, the 10K challenge on this call as well? Or is, is do you know, if, is Carlos having a call this afternoon? Uh, he should be, yeah. Or like three, I think it's at 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he is. I think he's launching the 10K challenge. I, didn't, I haven't heard about it. Cool. Okay. I didn't know if you were covering it all on this. Uh, I might, I, I'm probably going to jump into it. It sounds fun, honestly. I'll I think he's running the challenge for Medicare. Yeah. yeah. For Medicare? That's, yeah, I believe that's what it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'm sure it would be fun. Let's see, add events from the pixel. We're going to do now, guys. We're just going to create an ad for landing page. Have you gotten any um, any updates, Conrad? On I, I haven't seen any updates to hours or geo or anything like that for this offer for the for the many offers. Um, I think it's the same hours as before. Um, I tested last night, so they still have. I think they still have like that last week hours posted. But I I, I called in at about seven o'clock. I think it was seven o'clock East Coast time, and it was shut okay. down. So it's not a, it's not eleven p.m. at least in the. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm honestly, we started at 11. I just want to, I personally just want to see how it's going to run. And if I see any kind of issue, the first thing I do is I'm going to drive over to Carlos's office. I'm gonna be like, yeah, what the hell's going on? I'm burning bread here, bro. <laughs> you get me? That's the first thing I do. I'm going to let it run for one day. Like, like there's no reason to lose money on this guy. 
you get me it's, it's pretty easy to make this this work for you and and make money so there should be no reason why you're not profitable with with medicare right if you follow all the instructions you do what uh, you do what you're supposed to do there shouldn't be any problems uh making a profit here the hardest part is making a profit at scale because then it becomes harder to control and track it just takes a little more uh hands-on time to monitor your campaigns but i, I I've, I've helped a lot of people set up just the initial 35 dollar a day one campaign and it ends up taking off i, do, I put some vegetables in there so mm -hmm. okay the sauteed ones conversion event i would like to know the difference between the ones that are going to your website and the ones that are click to call though? Um, it's just here inside of the call only. When you set up the campaign, you just click on conversions. You can taste some of the vegetables. Good. Okay. No, I was saying, I was speaking more on the, well, now I'm speaking more on the result side, you know? Oh, on the result, I have no idea. I've never ran a yeah. ads to my website. It's always been call only ads. So you think it's a little more expensive? It, it's a little more expensive things. because the, the lead has to do more. Yeah. Yeah. The lead has to do more, which is the only problem. Um, that's why. The people have very short attention spans. Yeah, they can just either click to call or, you know, they end up... Uh, We can either just click the call or, or do whatever, you know, that's the only problem um, that, that happens with that. The click to call is just a lot easier. But you get no data. Yeah, but you get that's no kind data. Of, kind of like, how do you view it? It's really, it's a, a, a perspective thing of how you view it as a win. Exactly. Your legs are getting stronger because the way you're getting up. You know, when I get you out the toilet, you get up on your legs. Thank you. Yeah, somebody who just jump in, jumped into this world, you know, 45 days ago, I, I've, I've poked around in a couple of different campaigns. Medicare is definitely. Yeah, Medicare is a heavy hitter, man. I would say it's a green, a green yellow versus, you know, auto or the final expense, which are probably closer to the yellows. If, if you use Conrad's uh, stoplight scale. <laughs> what do you mean by, by a stoplight scale? Well, they were just, they were kind of trying to color code the different types of campaigns, um, you oh, know, by their risk? challenge, challenge level, you know, um, and, uh, and uh, any type of insurance really kind of falling into the yellow, the world yeah. of yellow. But I just noticed that Medicare seemed to be, there just seems to be a lot more intent. Maybe it's the senior crowd is more, more yeah. open to just press and call, you know, rather than fill out a form. They're older people, maybe they're more yeah. comfortable. I mean, they have I mean, nothing to do. But what happens is what you tell Facebook is what it optimizes for. So even if this website activity is expensive, it's eventually going to start to decrease in cost because Facebook knows exactly what I want now. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it just takes time to, to season and pixel. You know, I, I really didn't want to do a, a landing page ad. I'll, I mean, I'll try it for like 20 bucks a day to see how it works, but I know for sure the call ads work. You get me? Yep. That's really why I'm so crazy about it because I know that the call ads work. I'm, I've done them before. I've made money with it. So I know for a fact that they do generate results. But there's many ways to generate results on Facebook. Thank you. 
this is totally off topic, but I was just on Facebook. Was anybody else sad about Betty White? I I don't know who that is. What? <laughs> Betty White is? Shame. Is that the lady from the cooking channel? What? <laughs> Golden Girls? The who? Golden Girls, many other things. I, don't, I mean, I, don't know. I think that's out of, I think that's a little, uh, a little past my date of birth. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Conrad's only 27 recorded. years old. <laughs> Shit. This is recorded. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Conrad. My bad. <laughs> I mean, I, I saw some posts. You know, I, I saw I saw some, some posts and stuff, but I have no idea who that is. So I was just like, all oh, right, Betty White is goodness. dead. She was 100 years old. No shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right, guys. So these these ads are these ads are up and running. Um, they're just gonna get uh, go through review and stuff. Let's see how these other ads are doing. Yeah. So these my ads are already live, guys. Let's see what they're doing. They're spending all my money today. How many you got going today? Quite a bit, huh? I've I've got just three campaigns going today. Three campaigns. Oh, okay. Yeah, three oh, campaigns at twenty seven dollars. Because this is the 5K account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly season it back up and then just turn them on slowly until I have every single campaign on at 5,000. Okay. Um, and these are the campaigns for the going to the website, right? No, the, these are just call ads. Quick to the call. Ones the, the ones for the website are in here uh, in Medicare Source. Okay. All right here, let me turn that on also. So this is, this is the landing page. Pairs of two, see the difference. Yeah, this is for the landing page. 35 bucks, same same cost, but doesn't really matter. Well, to, to be honest, even if the landing page is more expensive, you do have the data. So when you want to do the exactly. other verticals, I can you can steal. My Aweber, it's my Twilio. I can do yeah. whatever, you know? So it'll kind of offset. That's why yeah. I guess that's like I said, I'm just gonna try it for one day and see if I get results or two days if I get results. If not, I'm just gonna run the call ads. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, th there are so many different ways to run traffic and be profitable that I'm not just gonna marry myself to one way. I'm gonna try a bunch of different ways, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to start Medicare with an L, so I'm gonna run the mm -hmm. call ads because I know those work. Just for did my you confidence wise? Did you try the, uh, you said you did a lookalike once? How did that work out for you? A lookalike audio? Actually, you just, you just gave me a light bulb, David. Well, we got to make up for the Betty White, so. Okay, and then get a big file. What? That's all I was looking for. There we go.
Is this how you create one? What was that? Is this how you create one? Um, no, what I'm doing here is I'm going to sort the so sort options. I'm going to sort them by time. I'm going to use that as a four hour call. Look at that. That's a four hour call, guys. That is definitely a conversion. That's definitely a conversion. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to scroll down all the way until I hit my five minute limit. And I'm going to use that as my custom. Uh, oh, I see. Can, honestly, I'm going to go even higher. I'm going to go up to 10 minutes. I want to see how many it is first. Conrad's got quality and quantity. Yeah, so that's 2,000 leads, guys, over 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is these guys are out. Actually, nine minutes is not even bad. I'm going to go down to seven minutes. Le hey, Leroy, uh, since you've been in the Medicare industry, how long does it take to close a deal in Medicare? Can you do it in eight minutes, seven minutes? Are you there, yeah. Leroy? Yes, yeah. Can if, you add um, to a new if, plan in if you seven somebody, minutes? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, if, if, if we're doing it based on their birthday, you know, if they're turning 65, three months in, three months after, you, you can close in seven minutes and, and, and I believe seven, eight minutes. And the same thing for this special in election period, I believe you should be able to do it in about five minutes because they know what they want. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So this, I'm just gonna delete these rows. Please go to the source. I'm just gonna go straight to the source, man. Sorry, I forgot how to make a, I forgot how to make a uh, custom conversion. Custom audience. What in the world. That's what I did, right? Create audience. How do I do this, guys? Guys, I forgot how to make a custom audience. I lived there a couple days ago. How do I do this? Uh, huh. 
Guys, I'm, ha I'm having a brain fart right now, guys. I forgot how to make a custom audience. Manager. You're only 27. You're too young for those. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, this is so weird. I mean, I have custom audiences for credit repair. This is really weird, guys. So sorry. There we go. Sorry, guys, I just had a little brain spasm. Okay, guys, so that audience is here. Now we're going to create a custom audience, a lookalike audience with this. Did you guys just catch that? I just put the audience in the wrong ad account. <laughs> okay. Come on, Conrad. Let's go. Okay. 
All right, guys, so once these audiences are updated, I'm going to uh, create some ads. What I'll do is I'll just go in here into my ad set and I'll and I'll just use the uh, custom audience. I'll add them into here. I could probably do it now, but I'm just going to wait a little bit before I do that. But sometimes it has to. Um, yeah. So once you see the size available, then you can upload them to your to your audience, okay? No problem, Todd. Thanks for being with us today. All right, guys. So do you guys have any more questions at all while we're here? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You guys have any questions at all while we're here or are you guys uh, all good to go? I'm good. You guys are solid. You guys get the gist of it? Yeah, very, very good um, instruction. No problem, guys. If you guys need any help at all, just reach out in the group or on Facebook. And I'm here to give you guys some backup, okay? Yes, sir. Just let me know. As soon as I finish editing this video, I'll post it in our Google Drive um, for you guys to see. All right, guys. Thanks, Conrad. Appreciate it. No problem, guys. Leroy, I'm going to send you a link right now for our, our call, okay? Thank you. No problem, Thanks, guys. Conrad. Have a safe day.